Okay, I'm back. I've got to add additional information from the JVC GZMG330. One thing this does have drop detection. It's in your menu. Besides that, let me get to the part that I wanted to mention and I've forgotten. So we turn the camcorder on. First, we got to close the lid. Reopen it. And then uh, the part I want to show you is, is last night I'd done it because I wanted to compare quality. I recorded my video on here of a small snow. We were getting a small snowstorm last night, but the weather channel and everybody makes it like a big deal. So basically, I shot the winter storm video onto the hard drive. Now, some of you might want to do it, some don't care. Now, you can remove your video off the hard drive onto your micro SD card. It's called move or copy it. And this is how you're going to do it. First of all, you have to have your camcorder in the HDD mode, which is the hard drive. You will go to this button here. as the playback. And you see a thumbnail of a video. That happens to be the snowstorm. Now you would you would go normally. Let me get this adjusted right. You would then go to the menu with your video up top. Go to menu. You'll see options now. You can delete. You can protect. You can play back. Playback MPEG file, copy, or move it. I want to move it. I don't want to copy it. So if I move it, it's going to be extremely taking off the hard drive here. If I copy, I'm going to save the copy on the hard drive on here itself. And also going to make a copy of it on my micro SD card. Where like I said, I'm going to move it. So you just highlight move. You hit OK, and you'll see. The top will say Media. It says right here, there's an arrow pointing from HDD hard disk drive to SD. You then hit, you scroll down to here. I think it's called ex Execute, whatever that means. That's, I guess, trend. that's another word of transferring. So I'm going to transfer that one video, number, one file. It's a 001. You only see one video of that. Didn't you guys? So I want them now video. So it's going from my hard drive to my SD card. And just hit OK to execute it. And it's being moved. From the hard disk to SD now moving. You see the percentage? You can see it's moving. But that's the most important thing I I missed. Like I see you got other settings in here. Moving completed. We hit OK. Okay. There's no file now on my hard disk. See? HDD, it's been moved. Now how can we really make sure that happened? Well, you go to menu. Go to menu again. Okay, we'll go here. I've got to press this button here. Now, see, it's in the HDD mode. Hard disk. We we'll hit playback. And let's see. There's nothing on it. Like I say. That's completely off. Now to test it, we're going to go to menu now. We're going to go to basic settings. We're going to hit OK. We're going to scroll down to where it says Record Media. Right there. We're going to hit OK. We're going to go down to SD. Hit OK. Now we're going to take the button over here. Play back. And let's see. There's the video. This video is on my SD card now. 
so it's completely moved off the hard drive on the camcorder itself and I transferred it moved it over on my SD card now you just pop out the SD card you stick it into your adapter here let's see if it plays it should play you have options on your little thing here you can stop it you can delete it you just hit ok to play it you have a little down here you can fast forward it you can fast forward it you can play it you can rewind it you can pause it now you can see the volume like I mentioned you control the volume from up here the same zooming button as you do for volume and you can see that right here watch the volume go up it goes down and the volume goes up all by up here now if you don't want this displayed in your in your way when you're watching your video you just hit okay and okay and it takes away this cr the critics or information some blowing snow I also took the same video with the Canon FS100 side by side I had one camcorder and another one just to compare quality today okay guys let's take take care of that I'll stop this at okay let's hit this button over here okay that's about it guys let's see what else I can take it to main menus this again go to basic settings quick start I mentioned yesterday date display style by the way my time was off yesterday it was off an hour and a half I had to change it see you can see there you have yourself a drop protection is on if you drop your camcorder it can it send it detects it's been dropped and your camcorder should be fine that's what they're saying but yeah, yeah, drop detection. It's all in your basic settings, by the way. I showed you how to get to that. Remote control comes with the remote control. I forgot to mention, but everybody knows it does. I got the remote control on. Demo is off. Operating sound is on. Basic display on TV. Factory reset. Just clock. If you have to adjust it, you go to adjust clock, hit OK. And then you got your little adjustment there. Hit the back arrow to go back. Video reset, I don't touch that. Image reset number, I don't touch that either. You can you can format your SD card if you have to. You can format your hard drive, which I don't mess with. You can clean up your HD hard drive. Improve HD writing speed, that's what that does. I can do that right now. Let's try that. Oh, okay. So you have to connect your AC adapter because it uses a lot of battery battery power. I believe that's why it's doing it. Or they don't want you to start doing something and your battery dies out on you because then you can ruin something. Damage. Okay, we, we turn. Can't do that now. Delete data on hard disk drive, which we know there's nothing on it. Then you see you got to connect your um, AC adapter to do that. Again, it must use a lot of battery power, or they don't want you to run out. Okay, it takes care of that. Well, I think I summed that all up. The most important part was to show you how you can move your video off to your hard drive here onto a your micro SD card. Which, take this out. Stick it in here like this. You pop it into a. I use a 12 in 1 card reader. Very reliable, very excellent, no doubt about it. It plays all these cards, all of them. Compact 1, 2, SM, XD, Mini SD, you name it, all of them at once. Look at that. MSD, SD, SDHC, Mobile, DV, Memory Sticks, 12 in 1, guys. Excellent device. 17 bucks from Dell. You'll probably get in your local store or Walmart. Check it out. Till then, bye.